folks, in this lesson we're looking at uh, Stacked Actors by Foo Fighters for Yenay Tunturi over at Patreon. Thanks indeed for your support over there, sir. If you don't know what it is, check it out in the link below. really helps uh, me keep this thing running. So first up, tuning. Your low E string is going to have to go all the way down to A to match your fifth string. So you're going to have... And... I've just chosen this guitar because it has thicker strings on it than all my others. So I'd probably go for a set of 11s or something if you're planning on playing this often. Or at least a heavier gauge just for your low E string, right? In terms of tones, I would go for something ratty-ish for this. Uh, I'm using the Electronic Audio Experiments Dagger, which sounds like this. <laughs> All that good stuff. And then for the clean part, I'm using the um, Benson delay pedal. To do that little part. Uh, but for Dave's part, no delay for that one. I would just go clean, not ultra clean. So I'm just using my usual uh, clean tone. So it's... So, first riff goes like this. So, pretty straightforward riff. I'm just going to play it slowly because you've got the tab. Three, four. straightforward i think the only difficult bit there is what finger you, you go to to move up uh, i'm using my first finger to go to the 10th 8th and then there's this little you know, little rundown right um but then you're going to do you've got two little um natural harmonics there so i'm just hovering over the fourth fret on the low string i mean if you go for a load more gain you'll get a bit more uh, or if you've got higher output pickups, you'll get way more um, harmonic coming out there. And then you end with... And then for the next couple of times, you're just going to play with both strings at the same time, okay? Because they're the same note, so it's just going to fatten it up. Sounds like this. That second time you end there. So the second time round would be. And then you stop there, okay? Turn your distortion off. I think there might be a difference between what Dave plays live and on the album version. I think the album version is this. again okay um, but live I think he arpeggiates the first bit with that right like that so I'd encourage you to go for that to be honest because it sounds nicer but if you want to simplify it you're just going to play this uh, a minus seven shape okay so we've got then you play a, a C shape, but you slide it up. Strike it again and slide it down. And that's the first three bars. And the last time, fourth bar, we go... You do six, six, five, three. Same C shape, okay? But the live way goes. Like that, okay? So pretty straightforward. I don't think I need to dwell on that too much. Um, you're going to do that round about six times. At, on the sixth time, I believe you're going to get this coming in. Oh, 
<laughs> like that, right? So pretty straightforward. The um, fourth bar there, because I think you'll hear throughout those, but when it goes to the, I think I would abandon that and just go to the. I think you might go around the verse and the chorus again then. Can't actually remember. Not important. It's two same riffs. You'll know it anyway. But then there's a pre-solo riff, which I want to show you, which goes like this. And round, okay? Let me um, play that slowly. So you've got... Like that, okay? Play it clean. Maybe it's easier to hear. <laughs> you got that right. So um, it's sadly different throughout, but I mean, you could just pick one of these ways and just play it the same way three times. Okay. Like that. Then the next time is. got that going on okay I think I hear that anyway and then the third time slight difference you don't do that that um, 16th note thing okay so the third time again then we get to this repeating phrase then we go into Dave's solo, which is awesome. It goes like this. It's the first part. Pretty cool, isn't it? So let me slow that down. A lot of vibrato in these first um, two bars. So fifth fret on the D. Then we do this little run. Okay, some slides, little hammer on, and we go for this. So there we have. So that's like a quarter step bend. So we have. Like that, okay. Some double stops. Okay, seven, seven, five, seven. And now I'm using like, you know, sort of full bit of my uh, third and first fingers there. And then going on to the tip when I go down to the uh, the next string down, that, that D string, right? Now here we do a little bend and I'm using my same finger just to push it up. So you'll note that you're pushing up both strings with you know one finger but one of the uh, strings is only going to do about half step bend but the uh, the G string you aim for a full step bend <laughs> then we got some more bends going on At this time I would probably use two fingers to bend them either your second and third or your third and fourth I mean you could do one finger if you like but you get a bit more control if you go for a couple so we have <laughs> So the rhythm for the first bar is like that, okay? Then we go for triplets. One, two, three, two, two, three. Now you can expect some some cool rhythms, can't you, from Dave? And then the last two bars are very straightforward, just on the beat. And then you slide down. Then um, I think he goes. He goes to octaves live for sure uh, on the album. Not sure. It might just be one one uh, fret that he's playing. But I would go for for octaves. And you can start on the twelfth fret on the A string. So you can either do uh, first and little, which is what I do, or first and third, whichever you like. Then you're going to do this. So kind of two repeating parts. We've got slide from 12 to 10, 10 to 9, 9 to 7. And then I think you do both open strings there. 
Then you go back up to the 12th fret and play to start. So you get down, up, down, right? So that's on the four and, okay? So that next down stroke just leads into the, the second time, right? So um, slowly, the first two bars. Um, third and fourth bar go. Pretty straightforward. Then we go. Um, little variance basically. So you get a slide up to the 12th fret. Hold that for a, a beat and then back up. Then we go fifth fret this time. You could use your first finger to just, you know, do this. And then then you go into the third chorus, right? So that's just a um, uh, same same thing we were doing with the double stops before, but you're just on the fifth fret. And you could bend that, you know, by twisting your hand like that. Like that. Three, four. Okay, and then then you're into the third chorus. Uh, this goes around four times, but with the stop on the fourth time. So three times of that. Fourth time is. Like that, distortion off, and then the outro is this. So you abandon the fill, okay? So you've got the same part, same as the first um, two bars in the uh, verse normally, but you're just going to play that. 12 times, or the way I've written it out is that six times, and then you end with the A minor seven. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.